Now in Genesis chapter 3, verses 17 and 18, this was the case of Adam. And Adam, unto Adam, he said, Because thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife, and hast eaten the, of the tree, of which I commanded thee, saying, Thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. Say not me. In sorrow shalt thou eat of it all the days of your life. Say God forbid. God forbid. Say not me. God forbid. Verse 18. Another bombshell. One to go. This is a luta continua. This is the one they call a luta continua. Not Victoria Aceta. A luta continua. This is suffering continues. Hard labor continues. As a business person, when your place is not producing, something is wrong. Now, listen. In Lagos, a young man went to a place that normally they pay about 2.5 million for the place. But they gave him at how much? 250,000. He said, how much? 250 million? They said, no, 250,000. They gave him the place. All the money invested in that place. <laughs> a young man called him after six months. He said, <laughs> you came here for business. You didn't ask questions before you came here. Now, now you are crying. You should have asked us before you entered here. He said, this place is a cost ground. Two pregnant women fought here. They fought until they died here. And two of them were buried here. He told him all manner. The guy went to the landlord and said, Oga, you didn't tell me that this is what happened here. The man said, ah, since you said you are a Pentecostal person, that's why I gave it to you that by your prayer it can change. <laughs> that the last person that left this place before you came is a white garment prophet that you see. He said, even lost with his children. Business place. Business place. We're addressing business people today. Where you are working is your business place. Wherever you are earning money is your business place. And behold, the guy said, you people should have told me. There are many people that have entered compounds to do businesses that their business had been swallowed. Why? The ground. You know what it took us for us to remain here? This place. Or that number two, why can A dreaded ground. That's why you must build capacity to stand. Innocent girl. Innocent girl. She has been trying to see me. She said, today, come rain, come shine. I must see you today. As I lifted my hand up, I started praying for her. I have not touched her. Manifestation started. The grandmother had scattered the whole family. Made her to drop out from school. Where are you operating? She meant, I had to call uh, Deborah and uh, Emmanuel Okun. They were the ones doing, hold, holding her. Because when I released the word, she fell. This grandmother said she is the one in charge of, what's even the name of that place? You know you? The whole of that area, she's the Air Force. And they now say that, ah, father, that's the headquarter of this thing there in Akwaibo. There is their headquarter. Which kingdom are you operating from? She said, Marine. That is a rare admirer. You know, in Navy, you have rare admirer. Uh -huh. It's uh, Air Force, you have uh, Air Vice Marshal. Uh, this thing. That is confirmed certified. Rare admirer. When you enter such a place, how do you survive? How do you survive? Those are wicked powers that close up. Now, Turn with me to Psalm 107, verse 34. Hold that psalm because we are going to pray. A fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of them that dwell therein. These are powers 
that can convert a fruitful land to a wicked land. Now, I've read this scripture when Pastor Okpa read this scripture. The reality of this scripture just done on me like this. Bam! It's not how many times you have read a scripture. It's when light shines on that scripture. That's what is called revelation. Where I sat, he opened my eyes. The moment he called the scripture and I just looked at the board, I read, a fruitful land into barrenness for the wickedness of them that do God, my brain spins. There are powers that turn fruitful land into a barren land. You can put money in that place. Nothing is working. I've experienced it. They didn't preach this kind of messages to us when we were in our former DC, Orthodox. They didn't tell us this kind of messages. The business I gathered with my friend and we opened a business center, a center by highway. The place was owned by an Air Force officer. The Air Force officer was more than Air Commodore, Air Vice Marshal. One of the powers in the same town, combined with Marine. I didn't know the things. Now, for where? Who born monkey? You come like this, the systems, you touch the computer, they are hot. Early morning, even when rain has fallen, you touch the system, they are hot. What thing make them hot? They've owned them at night. These things are real. Though. They are as real as real can be real. Uh, at uh, Obibo in Port Harcourt, my brother, Monty, early morning they woke up where they are using, Salvation Ministry is using, their place as one of their satellite churches is a school. They watch man, the night guard, saw animals walking in the place at night. Fear caught him. Only for the landlord to tell him, don't tell anybody. Have you told anybody? He said, no. He said, shh, don't tell anybody. When the pastor came early morning on a Sunday, because it happened Sunday early hours, around 2 a.m. So normally he opens the place early, but he had ran up because they chased him. So he ran up only for him to stay till six. He had not opened. The pastor came hitting the place. He told the pastor what happened. The pastor said, how can it be? He carried him. He saw the footprints of these animals. Some of you, you are walking in places where the owners of those places are highly occultic. That's why when you go to sleep in a hotel, lift the bed, check under. There's a hotel where a man just was curious, so he began to check. Only for him to lift up, he saw pot underneath. Whosoever sleeps on that bed, they suck, they suck your blood, shorten your life, collect your star and your virtues. So when you sleep there, only for you to go, it's empty. Then just you enter a hotel, no matter how clean, you dive on the bed because it looks like water bed. For then I mean nah, nah. Lay your hand on the bed and speak the word. Check around first. Of the light. When you off the light, let everywhere be dark. If there is a hidden camera within that room, it will reflect on your phone. You need this small, small wisdom. One of the hotels I slept, it was in Rwanda. I off the light. They had put a camera. It was beeping, but with the light, you wouldn't see. You wouldn't know. The moment I kept my phone, I caught the reflection with the... So they monitor, they can clone your phone. I called them. I said, remove this thing now. They said they will go and detonate it. I carried cloth and wrapped the thing and fixed it there. But you are there. They are monitoring you. They collect your... You are naked in the room. They collect your... This thing. You know what's happening in hotels today? Wickedness. He made rich soil become a salty wasteland because of the wickedness of those who live there. There are people who live in a place they do wickedness. And when they do that, how do you know the signs? Number one, what are the consequences? Number one, the land will reject you. Leviticus 18, verse 25. Run with me. We're about to pray now. And the land is defiled. Therefore, I do visit iniquity thereof upon it. And the land itself does what? Vomiteth our what? Our inhabitants. 
rejection. That is, they throw you away. That's why you see a lot of businesses coming to Calabar. After some time, they close down. They are gone. That's the scripture. After some time, they start today. After some time, they close. They are gone. This is it. And the land itself vomited out her inhabitants. Have you not seen many ministries pack up in this land? Some are struggling. 20 years, five members. Why? The land is vomiting her inhabitants to go away. And mostly when they know that the land is meant to bless you, they cage it. They make the land to cry against you. Job 39 verses. Whose house have made the wilderness and the barren land is what? That is, I've turned where he lives to a barren land. Good things cannot enter that house. There are compounds that they've never celebrated any good thing in that compound since the inception. Why? It has been turned to a desolate place. That's why I said, when you fast and pray, is it not the fast I've commanded to break the yoke, to break every yoke, destroy the bands of wickedness, undo the heavy burden, loose the bands of wickedness? And what happens? And they shall build the old waste places, the desolate places. He shall call them the repairer of breaches. That anointing that when you enter a waste place, a desolate place, a demonic place, you turn it to a fruitful field. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. What else does it do? It swallows riches. Swallows riches. Job chapter 20 verse 15. He has swallowed down riches. He swallowed riches. What else? They hide treasures. Isaiah 45. Verses 1 to 3. Thus said the Lord of hosts, of, uh, thus said the Lord to his anointed, to Cyrus, whose right hand I have holden, to subdue nations before him, and I will lose the loins of kings, to open before him the two leaf gates, and the gates shall not be shut. I will go before thee and make the crooked places straight. I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of what? And the what? Hidden riches of where? You can be in the land and not see the good things in the land. After, go and read acres of diamond. A man that was looking for diamond never knew that where he, the, where he had his diamond. And he sold it out. And left to look, go and look for diamond elsewhere. Not knowing where he had was acres of diamond. There are people that have left businesses for people, left places for people, not knowing that what they have left is the, that is global treasure, global wealth that would have blown them forth. Today, in the name that is above every other name, wherever you step into from today, God will convert it to a fruitful field. Amen. There are ordinances to carry out. If the land must produce, let me give you just the elementary ones <laughs> that you can use. Number one, you saw the scripture now. Hosea 2, verse 22. Hosea chapter 2, verse 22. The earth shall hear the corn, the wine, the oil, and shall hear Jezreel. The earth shall hear the corn, the wine, the oil. They shall hear Jezreel. The corn you give them. Have you not seen? You wake up, you see sacrifices on the street. Uh, bread. Oh man, the corn there can be bread. It can be biscuits. It can be granite. You have the corn there. So you can carry the, you bless the communion. Lord, as you bless the communion, carry the bread, drop on the ground. When his blood touched the ground, the curse over the land was broken. On the cross of Calvary. That's why his flesh was pierced. To break the case. Practice everyone. Every day we sprinkle this place. We release the blood into the land. Have you not read Deuteronomy 32 verse 1? Hear, O heavens. Hear, O earth. 
So the earth has ears. When God wanted to punish the people, he told the earth in Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 19. Jeremiah 6, 19. Everybody want to go. Uh -huh. This is God telling the earth. He said, yeah, O oh earth, this is what I'm about to do. Nobody does any harm to you without talking to the earth. Deuteronomy 32 verse 1. Give ear so they have ear. O ye heavens, and I will speak. And hear, O earth, the words of where? When last did the earth hear the words of your mouth concerning your business? All you are saying, I'm finished. Business doesn't work in this land. That's what the earth is hearing. So the earth is obeying what you are saying. Money did this land. Don't tell me there's no money in this land. I go nowhere. Money did here. So the earth has ears. It get ear. No thing say now only human beings or animals get ear. The walls, they have ears. If they don't have ears, how can a witch pass through the wall? How did he pass through? He spoke to the wall, and the wall obeyed and gave access. Practice speaking to the earth. Number one, speak to the earth. Number two, feed the earth. What do you feed the earth with? Number one, feed the earth with your words. The words, hear, O oh, earth, the words of my mouth. Speak. This business must grow. Customers flow in. That's what the earth is hearing. O oh, earth, hear the word of the Lord. Compel customers, mega customers, major customers into this place. You mention your business name. The same thing in ministry. That's how you speak. I've been speaking to the earth. That's how you came. Are you aware? And I'll still be speaking. O oh, earth, whosoever has been ordained to be part of exceeding grace and glory ministry, order their steps to come. I declare it to wherever they are on the surface of the earth, life is mysterious. You must give it a mysterious approach. Feed it, feed the earth with your words. That's number one food you give the earth. Number two, the corn. The earth shall hear the corn, the corn, the corn. Number two, feed the earth with the wine. Don't you see our fathers? Don't you see our ancestors? They will carry wine, hot drink, and pour libation. Have you not seen them? They will call. Mbukbo, metenyen. And you see them responding. And you, you are there. You are laughing. There are people troubling you. You have not reported them to the earth. The earth would have long dealt with them. Nobody operates on earth without the earth. Marine power, occultic power, witchcraft power, they must come to terms with the earth. That's why you learn to wake up. O oh, earth, cooperate down not with my enemies against me. Cooperate with me against them. He says, I'm a man under authority. I say to the other one, go. He go with the other one, come. He comes. I told him, all the people troubling me here and there, making me run elder skelter. Oh, yes, I'm not running again. From today, let them begin to run around. They began running, jamming themselves together. If you don't deal with them, they turn you to a loser. They mock the God you are serving. When the chairman of all harbors in Cross River State misbehave with me, at White House. I, he said he's the spiritual governor of uh, Cross River State. I said, you wear, now I have arrived. I'm the real governor. So, two captains can't be in one ship. I sent him to his grandfathers. Whosoever feeds your dog becomes your dog's master. Are you aware of that? Whosoever feeds the earth, the earth has he given to the sons of men the sons of men is not only believers, everybody. That's why it's working for Habalis. When they pass judgment, it works. 
when they speak to a place it works when last did you speak to your business place when last did you anoint your house when last did you anoint your compound when last did you sprinkle the blood in your house when last did you go to the gate of your house and command the gates to be open let good things flow in the preacher said prayer of inquiry for revelation pray lord show me the holy spirit is the showing man he shows show me he showed me henshaw town not just uh, this place the henshaw town community he showed me calabar what else must i do call for the rain and the rivers of god psalm 65 i think verses 9 and 10 thou visitest the earth and waterest it nine thou visitest the earth and waterest it thou greatly enriches it with the river of god which is full of water thou preparest them corn when thou hast so provided for it ten thou waterest the ridges thereof abundantly there must be abundant water thou settlest the furrows thereof thou makest it soft with showers thou blessed the springing thereof make it soft rain of god water my business water the earth of my business that's why he says break the fallow ground when the ground is fallow no matter what you put there is in vain rise up on your feet god cursed the earth and said when thou tillest thou shall what it shall bring tons and tissues say O oh, earth of my business and dwelling places hear the word of the lord by the blood of jesus every thorn and thistle you are producing in my life in my business in the works of my hands today i nullify you today i break the case by the blood of jesus from today all earth of my dwelling of my business place of the works of my hands of my atmosphere you shall produce in my favor no more tongues and pistols in the name of jesus lift up your voice and begin to declare to the earth reject the ordinances sacrifices proclamation wickedness of the wicked workings of satan over you O land making you unfruitful barren a wilderness a desert a desolate place against my business my finances my life exceeding grace and glory ministry reject them vomit them back to sender let them back fire by fire